Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition's top stories. A major stakeholder consultation is held as the 2019 cruise season commences. Government's efforts at developing a home port in Viewford are advancing. St. Lucia takes a closer look at the study of human trafficking in the Cari Forum region. All that plus the latest in youth development and sports and the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. The Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries signaled the commencement of the 2019 cruise season by hosting a high-level meeting with key stakeholders within the cruise sector, including private and public sector agencies. The primary focus of the meeting was to share the concerns of stakeholders on issues relating to the sector, as well as to generate mechanisms to address those issues. Director of Product Development in the Ministry of Tourism, Anne Margaret Adams, highlighted a number of issues on the agenda for discussion, including visitor harassment, training and demarcation, so as to ensure safety and security. Some of the issues that we have brought to the table range from issues of traffic management because we know that with the cruise, ship, um, cruise ships in port, one of the major issues relates to the whole traffic. And I think it is something that for locals as well as um, um, for persons, the visitors as well, it is a very, it is a, it's a matter of concern. So the issue of the traffic within the city of Castries has been identified as one of the major issues. And we are working very closely with the police department on how we can improve the traffic flow, um, the issues of the service providers as well, where they can drop off and pick up, and how we can really enhance the um, flow of traffic. That's one of the areas that we have identified as a as a troubling issue for us. We look at the issue of um, pollution, um, but we have the environmental issues as it relates to um, garbage disposal um, by uh, the, the cruise ships as well as the, the, the yachts. But we have been assured by our representatives that there is a very robust port health surveillance program. Um, so we are very um, confident that some of those issues um, will be addressed and are being addressed. The cruise sector is a major component of the tourism industry and relies heavily on key products and services to ensure that the cruise passengers have a memorable quality experience during their stay. Some of these services include hiking, water-based tours and adventure, shopping and heritage experiences. In an effort to increase visitor spend, improve the authenticity of visitor experience and encourage their return to the island, the ministry is embarking on the creation of new products. We believe that um, there are opportunities for developing new products. The ministry is at, the, at, at present um, looking at a, a new initiative as it relates to introducing a new tour that would um, prompt or, or enhance, stimulate visitor spending. So we believe that providing additional products is one of the ways by which we can you know, get better return on our investment by ensuring that visitors have additional options by which they can, they can spend. So the ministry is working very um, closely with its partners in um, developing a new attraction, a new tour that we hope to provide a, a new experience for visitors um, for the cruise ship as well as for land-based tourists. The Ministry of Tourism is optimistic that following this discussion, agencies will agree on key actions which will chart the course for the sector and encourage inclusivity and growth. Meantime, government's efforts at developing a home port in Viewford are advancing. Nisha Charles reports that the project is among new initiatives agencies like Invest St. Lucia are facilitating. In recent times, there has been remarkable growth in foreign direct investment, FDI flows across the globe. Many countries, especially developing countries, see FDI as an important element in their overall strategy for economic development. With the help of Invest St. Lucia, St. Lucia is placing itself on the path of capturing its share of investment. To do that, however, Prime Minister Honorable Chastney says the country must be innovative. Who are our clients? And where are they coming from and what do they want? And so they want to know they can come to a country that's secure. So safety is very important. They want to know if they get sick that they can be taken care of. So health is very important. If they have children, they want to know that they can put them into an education system that is comparable with anywhere else in the world. These are not aspirations. These are the things that we have to do. And the fact is, is if we can grow our economy and grow our tax base in order to pay those things without having to raise the rate of our taxes, because if we raise the rate of the taxes, it's going to make us even less competitive. 
The Honorable Prime Minister says that Invest St. Lucia has done a tremendous job at attracting investments to the country. He is particularly excited about an upcoming project at Sandy Beach. The idea of being able to buy a 20,000 square foot lot that already has water, electricity and sewage and has a master plan that's put on it on a prime piece of, 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 of property. And, and the goal is, is that none of the hotels will be built on the beach. The concrete road will become a boardwalk and that we're going to now, like we did with um, Groselet and we've just completed with Sioux Frere, on building beach facilities that both tourists and locals can go enjoy the beach. Housing projects are earmarked for Beauchamp, Viewfort, Chauzel and Denry. Honorable Alan Chastney believes that the south of the island is where the greatest potential for growth exists. We're not even talking about the impact of what's going to happen when we have the home port, cruise ship home port in Viewfort. And that's real. And so the idea of building a new airport terminal so that we can now convert the old terminal into a charter terminal, because it was already built and it's ready to go. And the cruise ships fell in love with the idea because when people get off the plane, they go to this new terminal and they're actually going to check into their cabins at that facility. Other areas of future investments include information technology and creative arts. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Natural Resources and Cooperatives has thrown its support behind several crop soil fertilizer experiments and demonstrations taking place at the Cardi Field Station in Larissus Denry. The experiments are laid out in a new television program by the Communications Unit in the Ministry of Agriculture titled On the Field with Philip Sidney. Here's an excerpt of the inaugural episode. I'm standing in between the cassava and pumpkin intercrop that is going on right now. We have sweet cassava varieties planted and pumpkin in between them. And we have some sargassum around the pumpkin. So we're checking to see how that pumpkin responds to the sargassum as well as as an intercrop in between the sweet cassava. So you're saying that um, in addition to, to the sargassum, are you going to be using any other fertilizer or is just just the, the sargassum alone? Just the sargassum at this point. At this point. And it's strictly from a fertilizer experiment point of view? Fertilizer and, and any influence that it has on the soil itself because the sargassum is very good for the soil. It acts as a biostimulant and it enriches the soil and adds texture to the soil, adds nutrients, adds plants' hormones. Okay. Um, why only the pumpkin and not the cassava? The cassava generally holds by itself. It does very well. We can fertilize it, we can add sargassum to it, but right now the focus is to see the effects on the pumpkin with an intercrop of the cassava. At another point, we can test the cassava with the sargassum. Okay, as you on cassava, um, that, that's the sweet cassava? Yes. All right, what variety is this? This particular one is the Uncle Mac. Okay. We have seven varieties. As we go down, we'll take you to the germplasm to show you the seven different varieties. Okay, and those varieties are given to the farmers? On the yes, holding. farmers can get cuttings from us once the cassava is of age. So anywhere between 9 to 11 months, we would have sticks available to give farmers at a subsidized price. Okay. You can view the entire episode of On the Field with Philip Sidney this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. on NTN. The lead head in the CARICOM Quasi Cabinet for Human Resource, Health, HIV and AIDS, Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Timothy Harris of St. Kitts and Nevis, has welcomed the United Nations High Level Political Declaration on Universal Health Coverage. More from Toussaint King English Francis from CARICOM Newstime. In his presentation to the UN General Assembly, he said that no one should have to skip taking a potentially life saving scan or other procedure because of the cost. Neither should they have to declare bankruptcy because of an expensive illness. And above all, we believe that equal access to health care is a basic human right. He cited the success of St. Kitts and Nevis in eliminating mother-to-child transmission of HIV and syphilis as an example of how commitment and resources can generate success. The World Health Organization's executive director said that the world has 11 years left to make good on sustainable development goals. Universal health coverage, he said, is key to ensuring that that happens. This is NTN Nightly. Ryan O'Brien is up next.
For effective chemical treatment of black cigatoka, practice routine preventative maintenance of all tools and equipment, especially the mist blower, to ensure proper functioning. Clean sprayer after use and service the machine regularly as recommended by the manufacturer. Whenever you are using pesticides to control black cigatoka disease, personal protection and safety measures must be followed. Spray operators must always wear proper protective gear. Before or when handling pesticides, put on your overalls, respirator, goggles, boots, and gloves to avoid contact with the skin, inhalation, and ingestion of pesticides. For more information on how to treat and control Black Sigatoka on your farm or in your backyard garden, contact the Black Sigatoka Management Unit at 451-5491, 451-5894, or email bpmu at candw.lc. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Agriculture in collaboration with the International Cooperation and Development Fund of the Republic of China on Taiwan. Welcome back. We join Ryan O'Brien for the latest happenings in youth development and sports. Thanks, Janelle. Welcome everyone to your update from Youth Development and Sports on the NTN Nightly News. Ancillary emerged champions of the District 4 Primary Schools football competition with a 4 to win on penalties after drawing 2 all with Rosso in the final. Jaden Daisy and Adriana Ogis scored for Ancillary, while Joshua Martial and Ezekiel Enude converted for Rosso. Ancillary defeated also 6 goals to nil in the semi final clash, while Rosso edged out Millet 2 1 in their matchup. In District 1, Grosley emerged champions after getting past Moshi Primary in the finals. Jamal Long is a physical education teacher at the Grosley Primary School. I must say with another year of competition, um, the games have been good, I should say very organized. Um, this time around, of course, we, they, um, because of the, um, the number of schools at the district, we had to separate the teams into a Barbano end and a Grosley end who each had their own competition. And of course, today we witnessed the semi-finals and finals between both teams. And I must say the, the um, support have been there, like today, we, we, we got some support from the schools. And gameplay from the, from the athletes themselves, the footballers, were extraordinary, I must say. He said his team played determined football. It was a final. So it was not um, any little game you say you're just going to play some ball. It was a final. And of course, if you missed it, I'm sorry. But um, the boys, they played the hardest. They came out and they came out with a mindset to play football and of course to represent the school and of course at the end to be champions. School sports competition continued Tuesday with action in schools basketball, netball and six football matches were also on the schedule. That's your update from Youth Development and Sports for today. I'm Ryan O'Brien. Thanks, Ryan. A regional consultation bringing together stakeholders from across the region for what was dubbed a study of human trafficking in the Cariforum region took place at the Accra Beach Resort Barbados from the 19th to the 20th of September 2019. St. Lucia was represented by the Assistant Focal Point for Trafficking in Persons within the Department of Home Affairs and National Security, Claudia Monlui, and member of the Task Force for the Prevention of Trafficking in Persons, Yolanda Jules Lewis. The consultation aimed to conduct a comprehensive assessment of human trafficking in the Cariforum region to provide advice on key findings and recommendations to inform priority response interventions, to determine the extent and nature of human trafficking in Cariforum, to provide recommendations on the implementation of programs to halt or significantly reduce trafficking in persons. The Starkey Herring Foundation, in collaboration with the Department of Health and Wellness, will be hosting the third National Herring Mission on Sunday, October 13 and Monday, October 14, 2019, at the National Cultural Center from 8 a.m. daily. During this period, screening and fitting of herring devices will be performed. The Foundation will be providing herring aids free of cost, as well as a lifetime supply of batteries and aftercare support. The Phase 1, Phase 2 mission is expected to cater to approximately 600 persons. 
Prior to the screening, all persons with hearing impairments will be required to have their hearing tested at the Viewfort and Lacklery Wellness Centers. Therefore, the Department of Health and Wellness is appealing to all persons with hearing difficulties to call the Viewfort and Lacklery Wellness Centers for an appointment. Hearing services at the Viewfort Wellness Center is available Monday to Friday and services at the Lacklery Wellness Center will be on Wednesday and Thursdays. Stay tuned to NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with the NTN Nouvelle of Creole. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Nice tie, Bill. Yeah, hey, thanks. How was your weekend? Same thing. I went to the beach, but to tell you the truth, I should have just stay home and sleep. I just feel like I need help in my future goals, but I just don't know where to start. I love my job, but I'm not as productive as I used to be. Maybe I should speak to a counselor. What should I do? But it's so expensive. It's not my business to know. But look, he's not even listening to you. You work with the government of St. Lucia, and the Ministry of the Public Service is offering free counseling to government workers under the Employee Assistance Program. Call him. Really? The Ministry is offering free counseling services for government workers? Yes, it's easy as calling the unit. The EAP telephone number 468-2269. Call them. If you have to pour out your heart, talk with a caring professional who is trained to listen to your deepest feelings. Call the EAP unit at 468-2269. EAP works. Let it work for you. Hey, Joe, you were saying something? Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle, a Creole. Merci au temps, Janel. Monsieur, Madame, département qui est une responsabilité pour information en gouvernement cette ci à ce GIS, à ce MP Télévision National PIA NTN, qui a présenté une nouvelle à Creole. Présenté Primus Hutchinson. Comme industrie Kako à cette ci Qu'est-ce que ces divers changements? Les Grecs en ministère de l'Agriculture ont organisé un atelier pour développer une vision et un plan pour pousser l'industrie salade au vent. Pour ça, ils ont organisé un atelier côté les gens qui engagé dans l'industrie caco. Ça a l'avantage de l'occasion qui est available pour hausser des gros business salades à cette ci Chef officier Extension, Camille Jabatis, déclare que en même façon que le ministère a fait pour gré pour avancer les opérations industrielles, c'est la même façon que les producteurs ont fait aussi. Il a ajouté que l'année de plus de bénéfices qui ont été trouvés dans le business de la concurrence, selon M. Jabatis, les cultivateurs de la concurrence ont plusieurs bénéfices. Par exemple, ces pieds de la concurrence ont servi comme une protection pour placer ce qui est possible pour faire la ligne. Aussi, l'habilité pour donner en tout cas une façon de vivre côté les cultivateurs qu'à cultiver en parmi l'autre d'un oui. Protection caco, c'est une protection de l'environnement aussi. Chef officier extension là, oui, marqué qui, d'un oui caco, ça reste vivant pour 50 ou 100 ans de pour trouver, de pour trouver beaucoup de passion. En parlant de ça, pour mon qui a produit chocolat, l'occasion qu'a présenté quoi, pour cette ici produit plus chocolat et plus bon qualité en celle de pour venir. Selon M. Jobatis, le gouvernement a placé ce point pour l'industrie et ses suggestions et que l'autre discussion qui est faite en atelier qui a aidé sérieusement pour renforcer et cimenter l'industrie qui a commencé ici pour un pile d'années pour venir. Atelier a été tué pour le 3 octobre. Oula Kaoule a assez bien comme place pour chercher pour clore et que cette ci Observez mon héritage créole pour l'autre année. À dans ce spécial ou à pour cela, nous avons eu l'initiative Place Recherche là, qui connaît plus mieux que FRC, un effort pour huit bâtiments mais aussi qui diffèrent des valises et des cambrioles y ont de l'année qui passe. Tu organisé, avec tu organisé, y a coup de main samedi passé pour nettoyer et pour commencer à préparer un effort pour virer, construire mais aussi cela encore. Directeur exécutif pour FRC, Mme Louise Victor, est présent pour un support pour une initiative de la Nous sommes TAG Genèse, nous sommes NYC, nous sommes Duke of Edinburgh, nous sommes 
Mom make me say FRC Nuni board. Um, Nuni me say La Force. Kite, Kite director cafe. Tell me to buy. Isi I say Kylie. Um, so no apo I say he can Vini si I ignore Jodia. Exa se mani ya nuka di mo nuka nuka kali pias kote exe isi ya nuka Wesley. Me se pas selma director FRC ya ki wekle te a initiative la. Ok, um, après nous avons fait go spectacle à um, Calypso um, juste avant le carnaval là, pour les tous ces artistes là qui sont venus pour um, raise funds by, by FRC. Là, nous sommes venus ici à um, Simon um, Sarge. Nous avons fait artistes là qui fait un chai promo en place là. Bon, c'est là ça nous dit ici de um, ça il y a presque après yon yon là ni depuis um, fire destroy mm -hmm. FRC et puis maintenant nous est place là nous nous dit ici en place nous nous ni pour really faire rester uh, devant un um, um, pays cette ici et puis nous est si nous ni un go membership nous ça venir ici à faire bail ou ça pour chaîne place là à dans manière until tout l'argent fait pour rebuild FRC So, bon là, allez puis ça, un new executive director vini et puis nous dit um, pour moi ça, puis c'est moi ça, octobre c'est si, um, moi créole, um, nous ça fait un gros coup de main et puis c'est ça qui a fait Jodia, coup de main vivant et puis quand nous nous ni en chais um, jeune moun du coup il dit me faire word scheme, puis ça nous a try faire c'est porter en chais ces jeunes là en 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 dedans FRC, so nous allons en continuer et puis là Papa, Emma Charles, tout ce que ça allait, nous n'y pouvons pas être sûrs que FRC um, reste. Eh bien, ça n'a pas là, ça y a fait là son bon bagage, puisque là, je me lève, je me lève en coup de main. Et c'est comme ça que je me fais. Donc, je ne suis pas ou je ne suis pas dans grand platine, je ne suis pas fait farine, c'est ça, je ne suis pas fait manger, je ne suis pas travaillé, là, ou bien garder tout au lieu, je ne suis pas travaillé. Bon, pas tenir à faire, je ne suis pas mené, ça y est, je ne mené pour préparer manger, je ne suis pas bay manger ou pas payer coup de main pas ni payer c'est un coup de main on croit bay un malheureuse si un malheureuse du besoin planté ben il besoin son petit caille ou quoi bay un coup de main c'est comme ça il c'est yon à l'autre et c'est comme ça nous qui lever parce que comme on a dit monde mon son fort qui est mode et tu vas faire pièce comme moi encore bon quand on va voir nous on place la côté place fiche pour clôturer établi et place la brûler et ça nous a fait pour nous assurer, bon pas que nous abandonner place là. Nous venons nous faire un coup de main pour nous ça nettoyer place là. Et, et depuis que FRC commence, commencé, il a poussé à faire coup de main. Parce que coup de main, c'est qu'il tisse ici. En temps longtemps, presque tout le monde a été fait coup de main. Un coup de main, les gens qui ont fait caille, les gens qui ont scié bois, les gens qui ont fait du bois, les gens qui ont planté jardin. Vous savez ça qui est important? Il est toujours dans le tambour. Ça va nous ramener ici aujourd'hui. Ça va nous ramener ici aujourd'hui. Il y a tout différent style de tambour pour ce différent coup de main. Je vous dis, si vous boire dans le tambour, si vous êtes boire dans le tambour, vous pouvez aussi planter maillot, planter tout ce qui est dans le tambour. Là, alors, ce qui est presque fini. Et il faut toujours essayer de faire mon continu. Et aujourd'hui, nous avons fait coup de main et qu'on s'en lève pour faire coup de main c'est point hein? mon cas de celle ça nous a fait c'est bon pour bon, bon manger et puis en chaque café qu'on aura dit plus nous la main plus plus travail léger et puis c'est un bagage nous voulons continuer et ça c'est mon à faire passer un grand coup de main un mois plaisant un monde plaisant un chemin pour vivre bâti maison FRC comme pays à observer mon héritage créole Durant la cérémonie, la semaine passée, vous présentez le monument qui est construit par Jaime Yudevic, représentatif pour construire un cahier concept. Madame Sarah Flood Bobre parlait concernant la significance du monument Sala en façon pour toutes ces lycéens agir ensemble et puis on a l'autre. Nous avons travaillé ensemble, bon Dieu, nous avons fait nous, nous avons fait un succès en tout ça nous fait. Si nous mettons en bonne idée, si nous travaillons et si nous avons patience. Patience, c'est un bagage qui est bien important. Et aujourd'hui, nous avons un chai de nous 
nous pas ni patience. Nous voulons faire un bagage, nous voulons achever un bagage, nous voulons jouer un bagage, mais nous voulons actuellement. Gardez manière, c'est quand on entre l'année, nous ca célébrer Jodia. Et gardez manière, nous tenir pour travail. Il y a un monde qui a commencé un travail, c'est un autre monde qui a fini. Nous n'y pour ni patience, nous n'y pour travailler ensemble, nous n'y pour travail et puis il y en a lot et nous n'y pour espérer à sous bon Dieu et nous n'y pour ni confiance en bon Dieu et nous kai achieve tout ça nous supposer si achieve à de bon manière Representatif pour Villecastri honorable Sarah Flood Bobre en opinion concernant monument qui placé en grand tourner à sous chemin John Compton et c'est comme ça nous attendons pour nouvelle aujourd'hui mes et mesdames Mon cas, monsieur, autant pour garder. Mon cas, une invitation pour je ne puis moins considérer qu'on se veut la vie. Les gars, ils pensent à l'autre nouvelle à Coyol. Après ça, mon cas, vous pensez à tout. Génial. Merci, Appeal Primus. Here's a look at what's happening to us weather-wise. Fair to occasionally cloudy skies with scattered showers. Low-level clouds drifting with the wind flow will cause some showers to develop over the Lesser Antilles during the next 24 hours. Two other tropical waves located over the eastern and far eastern tropical Atlantic are moving westward near 12 miles per hour or 19 kilometers per hour. The tide for Castries Harbour was high at 1.10 p.m. and is low at present. The tide for Vieux Bay was high at 2.17 p.m. and will be low again at 7.28 p.m. The sea is locally rough with waves and northerly to northeasterly swells 6 to 8 feet or 1.8 to 2.4 meters. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to brisk winds and rough seas. The sun will rise Wednesday at 5.53 a.m. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am General Norville.